All right, let's go through some of the breast vascular anatomy and how it relates to designing a pedicle or choosing a pedicle for your breast reduction. This is a sagittal view of the breast. This is an anterior view of the breast without the skin. Basically, there's multiple pedicles that you can pick and they all represent a certain type of blood supply to the breast. So for example, here's the superior pedicle, which is coming off this internal thoracic artery. So the subclavian artery gives off the internal thoracic, which is called the internal mammary sometimes because it eventually leads to supplying the mammary gland or breast. So internal thoracic gives off these perforating branches, which are called sometimes the perforating branches of the internal thoracic because they perforate through the intercostal interspaces. So this is through the second interspace, the third interspace, and fourth interspace. If the perforator that comes through the second interspace is one of the most important blood supplies to the breast. 60% of the time, this is the majority of the blood supply to the breast. So this superior pedicle is based on the second intercostal perforator that's coming off the internal thoracic. Similarly, the medial pedicle is based off the third intercostal space perforator. Whenever you design your pedicle like this to include your nipple, the second and third perforators, that's called a supromedial pedicle. That was basically because initially that they designed the superior pedicle and they saw that, hey, if you include both of these, you have better outcomes, or so they thought, for your nipple area complex. And including the second intercostal perforator is a great idea. So we did superior and medial, now the lateral. Coming off the axillary artery is the lateral thoracic. Branches off the lateral thoracic supply the breast from the lateral aspect, and this is for your lateral pedicle. Women want cleavage, or not all women, but some women that come for breast reduction want cleavage and breast fullness in this area. Designing your pedicle based on the lateral thoracic branches is going to mean that a majority of your breast tissue will be over here, which is not where the uh, reduction should essentially create volume for. You want breast volume to be here and medially and superiorly. Now coming up for the central pedicle, coming off the thoracochromial, you can see this branch here, the thoracochromial, off of the uh, subclavian as well it comes down and it's behind the pec major muscle it eventually pierces through the pec major muscle and then supplies the nipple area complex centrally therefore it's the central pedicle it's you can't see it in this view because it's directly behind the nipple area complex similarly the inferior pedicle is based on the intercostal arteries four and five these are actually coming off of the internal thoracic as well the internal thoracic gives off the anterior intercostal arteries and then these will pierce through and pr provide blood supply at the inframammary fold to the nipple area complex and that composes the inferior pedicle.